what's up guys and welcome back to my channel i hope that you guys are doing good some people some people they should just not have any kids and i just don't understand why some parents are so crappy as they are some people are lucky enough to grow up with the most amazing parents ever and that is a huge advantage in life you will basically have it a lot easier in life if you actually have parents that are good they can maybe help you financially in the beginning they can probably give you the right knowledge what you need in today's world and they can give you emotional support validation they can give all of those things to you which just makes you a good human being a strong human being and you will probably not be as afraid of the world just because you know that you always got a home to return back to if shit hits the fan you will always have a place to come to you will always have a home that is waiting for you and two loving parents to just take care of you until they die with that said life is probably just a lot easier so i'm not saying that everyone who has good parents has it easy i'm just saying that people who have good parents definitely have a chance of life being a lot easier than for those people who actually have really crappy parents or don't have any parents at all the reason why i honestly think that some people should just not have any kids is because they just can't even take care of themselves and if they can't take care of themselves why would they get kids why that is just really wrong to the kid because the kid didn't choose to be in this world you put that kid to this world and if you are not ready for that then i honestly think you should just not get any kids that's it because caring for another human being it's a huge responsibility now i am not a mother so i can't speak from a mother's point of view but i can tell you this much that it is a lot of responsibility <laughs> I mean, just imagine having a dog. That's a lot of responsibility. Then having a kid, financially supporting that kid and satisfying that kid emotionally and being able to answer all the unanswered questions when it reaches the teenage years and all the crappy things that happen in life. You, you just need to be that strong person to provide for that kid. And now, I don't mean that every single parent needs to have all the answers or that every single parent needs to be 100% a perfect parent. The only thing what I think is required from a parent is that they actually put their kid first and that they actually try to do everything in their power to solve that kid's issues in life. And by that, I don't mean that the kid is four years old and uh, got fired from work and then mama comes there and like yells at the boss. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if that kid is 18 years old and receives a lot of money for example it would be great to have a parent there to maybe guide you what to do with that money because when you're 18 you, you maybe don't think that logically and you might just really want to go and buy a nice car and spend all the money during a vacation meanwhile a parent maybe says hey maybe you want to invest that money somewhere so that that money can eventually grow and so that you will eventually be able to build a good future for yourself i mean that is what parents are for right we as kids we just always like to return to our parents no matter how horrible they have been towards us even if we know that we just feel bad when we are around them it is very hard to detach ourselves from our parents because you only have one mom and you only have one dad and that is just i don't know it's emotionally really effed up because it's like you just always feel this connection to them and like i said even if you know that you just don't feel good you will just maybe still choose to spend christmas with them just because they're your family and I think it really takes a strong human being to understand that toxic behavior, even if it's your parents, but to like understand it, accept it, and then just like step away from it, even if it's your parents that we're talking about. It takes a strong person to do that, definitely. And sometimes it's not as black and white. Sometimes it's not just like, yeah, my mom and dad have been toxic towards me and I will just never speak to them again. I mean, it's not just always that simple. <clears throat> it's definitely easier said than done and uh, every situation is very individual and unique in its own way so there is really no right and wrong when it comes to dealing with family situations i just think it's so sad 
seeing people get kids when they're not 100% invested in them because I just don't think it's right for the kid. I just don't think it is. For that kid, the parents are the only thing what that kid has from the start. And that kid is really just going to seek validation for a long time from their own parents. They want to be loved. They want to be appreciated. They want that their parents are going to tell them, oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Most of our issues really come from our parents. The way how our parents have treated us and the way how we grew up. Now, I personally don't have the most horrific childhood. I don't. I can definitely say that I recognize the feelings of not being loved. I recognize the feelings of not getting the advice what I wanted to get. I recognize the feelings of uh, that I definitely feel like my parents haven't really invested in me 100%, but I can't sit here and talk about anything super horrific that has happened to me. But I can just imagine how terrible that must be for people who have actually gone through something super traumatic, needing to stay in that household until they become 18 or run away or yeah. And I just don't understand why some people are just so crappy parents. I just don't. Like, why do you get kids in the first place? Is it just because, whoa, it just happened? That is also one word what I hate when people say, oh, it just happened. I just got pregnant and I just gave birth to this kid. Like, okay, sure, it just happened, can happen, but you actually giving birth to that child just doesn't happen. That's an active choice. Can you stop, please? And I think, honestly, if you are not prepared as a parent, then you really should think about the kid first in every single scenario. Is this gonna be a good environment for the kid to grow up? Are you gonna be a good parent? And like I said, there is probably never a perfect moment to get kids. But you more or less know if you can take care of yourself. And you can probably put yourself in a position to imagine if you could take care of another human being. If the answer is yes, go for it. If the answer is no, why? Why do you just make kids? I don't get it. I really don't get it. And of course, there might be some people who just don't feel ready for it. And once they get the kid, they're probably the best mother ever, not saying that. But that probably means that they actually got their life together somehow. Because people who don't have their life, life together or that they just can't even take care of themselves are just not good parents. They are just not. And I also hate people who just say like, yeah, but I really want to try it. Like, do you understand what it means? I mean, this is, a, this is not something that you just try. And this is not something that you can just, oh, you know what? I didn't like it. I will just return my kid. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> so I think it's just really ir irresponsible to say that, hey, but I just wanted to try. Like, okay, great. <laughs> you wanted to try, now you tried. Hopefully you liked it because if you didn't, well, it's a bad thing for you and the kid, obviously. And by the way, I'm not specifically talking about mothers here. I'm talking about both parents. I think both parents should definitely be ready for something as big as kids. And now there is probably a lot of things that you just figure out during your time as a parent. You don't know everything. You will never know everything. But I think the most important thing is to learn how to navigate through life and learn how to like solve problems. Because if your kid comes to you and maybe has like this, I don't know, that kid has this problem and you have no idea how to solve it, but you have problem solving skills, that way you can still help the kid. But if you don't have any problem solving skills, you will just sit there and be like, that sounds really bad, honey, but everything's gonna be fine. And you just don't really give that kid any concrete advice. You just say, everything's gonna be fine. But what does that mean, everything's gonna be fine? You can't just wish, unfortunately. I wish it would be that simple, just to like, wish. And the reason why I'm maybe a little bit passionate in this video is because I just really don't think it's right to see kids and broken human beings growing up just because of their parents just because of what their parents put them through. Because they didn't choose their parents. And it's just really sad that they needed to go through all those horrific things and suffer from all of those consequences now when they're adults. 
because it's gonna take them a long time to like heal themselves. You need to start unfolding every little knot when you are an adult and be like, oh yeah, this is why I react this way. Oh yeah, it's probably because of that thing that happened or like, yeah, it's a long process and it's a hurtful process. Now, of course you grow so much as a human being once you actually can do that. Once you can untie those knots and actually see why you are the way you are, if you have some issues, for example, and not saying that people who grow up in perfect households don't have issues, we all have issues, but I just think people who have a toxic parent or has had a toxic environment when, when growing up, those people probably have a lot more knots than those people who actually had decent parents and a decent childhood. Anyways, this was just a little rant. Hopefully I didn't upset anyone. But these are just my feelings and the way how I feel and this is a free world and free country so I feel the freedom to express myself and yeah, I feel like I have done it now. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video somehow. If not, I hope that you maybe found it entertaining or maybe you agree, I have no idea. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then. Take care. Ciao, ciao.